All right, it's time to talk about it. I didn't really want to make a video about this because everyone's making a video about this. But you want to know what? This is one of the greatest things to have ever happened in my life. I'm here to talk to you guys about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake rap beef, okay? First, let's just talk about the objective facts about it. I might be missing a detail or two because I'm, I am, I would, I would classify as somewhat of a hip hop head, but there's, there's definitely bigger hip hop heads than me. I'm more of a hardcore punk kind of guy. I even like pop music from time to time. Hence the name Ooze Pop. Rap and hip hop. I'm familiar, but again, there are bigger hip hop heads than me. So if I miss anything or if there's any inaccuracies, it's not on purpose, okay? I'm just, I'm just a fan talking about what I see, okay? Let's start with the objective facts. The popping off point of the beef between Kendrick and Drake started with the future song like that which features Kendrick Lamar. I don't fully know what caused Kendrick to pop off on that song. All I know is there was there's been rumblings of drama between Kendrick and Drake leading up to that point, okay? I'm not exactly sure what it is, I'll be honest. But some people theorize it's actually that Kendrick Lamar has had, has had it out for Drake for a while, for a long while. And this is the, the, the part where it finally explodes into something that can be observed by everybody, right? Future releases two albums. He released We Don't Trust You and then We Still Don't Trust You right after. Not the same day, but I think within the same week. Like just one after another. But the first album, We Don't Trust You, contains Like That featuring Kendrick Lamar, in which Kendrick Lamar just does his Kendrick Lamar thing. Real good flow, real good energy, thug ass lyrics. But apparently if you're in the know, which I wasn't at the time, if you're in the know, you know that it's a diss at Drake and J. Cole. Kendrick is talking about motherfuck the big three, man. It's just big me. He's saying there's no top three best rappers. I'm the best rapper. You guys are not on my level. Pretty sick. Pretty thug. Pretty hard. Gotta love it. Apparently, J. Cole was involved with this drama, but he backed out really early. So in a way, he's kind of not involved, but it's gonna be hard not to mention him because the conversation was Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drake are the big three. But Kendrick gets offended at that, saying, no, bro. It's just me up here. You guys aren't. You guys aren't as good as me. I believe J. Cole responded with a song or maybe even an entire album. I'm the last person to ask about J. Cole. I'm the opposite of a J. Cole fan. I'm a J. Cole hater. I don't even think he's a bad person or anything like that. It's just, you know that meme is one of my favorite memes. You know that meme about the J. Cole meal at McDonald's? It's just a plain burger with nothing on it and a cup of water. That's how I feel about J. Cole. I'm sure J. Cole has some good music. I don't know what it is though. I don't know what it sounds like. I'm probably never going to find out. Maybe, who knows, but I just feel no desire to listen to J. Cole, okay? But apparently J. Cole responded in some way, either a song or I think an entire album. Then he took it down and apologized, which everybody has been clowning on him for. 
then again, maybe it's for the best he did that. Because man did this, man did this battle get bloody, okay? Keeping it on facts though. After, after this, Drake ends up releasing a track called Push Ups, which is a little bit more direct, a little bit more directly calling out Kendrick. I don't think he drops Kendrick's name. He might. He might on Push Ups. I don't remember. All I know is that it's, it's, it's a lot more obvious that now Kendrick and Drake are talking to each other. That's a lot more obvious now with push-ups. It takes Kendrick, I believe, 17 days to respond. But boy, did he respond. He drops Euphoria, which is probably the best Kendrick Lamar song I've ever heard. If not that one, then, well, we'll get into that, okay? But Euphoria, it hit me so hard. Euphoria is just a great track. I'm gonna slightly break into opinion here just to talk about Euphoria. Euphoria is a song that starts soft and slowly calling out Drake for what's wrong with him at its core, okay? There's nothing like too drama or rumor or lies as people call it because it could be that they're that both of these guys are telling lies about each other okay drake and kendrick they could be telling lies about each other i'm not even concerned with that if i'm being honest who made the better song who had the better diss very easy very easy criteria to understand i'm not here to debate with you guys about who won i'll probably i'll give you my opinion at the end of this okay i'm not here this isn't like a debate video. This I'm I'm giving you the facts of the matter, and then I'm going to give you my opinion. Okay. When I talk about the facts, I may inadvertently or maybe on purpose sprinkle in my opinion. Um, like when I say the Euphoria is one of Kendrick's best songs, that's just my opinion, right? But I feel like you guys don't need me to tell you that. You guys know what an opinion is, right? I don't have to baby you guys. But anyway, the song starts soft with Kendrick just kind of talking that smooth shit. Then Kendrick says, don't tell no lie about me and I won't tell truths about you. Then the song starts to pick up. Shoo! Shoo! Beep, 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 beep! It, it, it picks up pretty, pretty fast, pretty hard. And Kendrick just goes in on Drake. Allow me a second to think about one of Kendrick's really awesome bars here. One of, one of, one of my personal favorite bars Kendrick sends at Drake. Drake and J. Cole, basically. Taking them both down. Tells Drake, there's no accent you could sell me. Cole and Aubrey know I'm a selfish beep. This crowd is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. That just sounds hard. It sounds crazy. Nerds out there will be like, um, actually, YNW Melly was found not guilty. Okay. It's a hard bar, though. We have tons of OJ bars. OJ was found not guilty, but OJ Simpson bars still go hard. And Kendrick Lamar made a YNW Melly bar go hard, okay? I also like when he says, I forget the exact line, but he says something like, I don't like you, I don't like you beefing with Pharrell, so I'll inherit the beef. And he says, man, fuck all that push and pee. Let me see you push a T. Kind of gives it that like push a T inflection. He's Terrence Thornton. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whoop. Like it's just like so angry and so dirty, and it's like yikes. Drake needs to respond to this. 
just giving you some examples of bars. I think the, every bar in this song is a bar, if you ask me. Go check it out yourself. Go listen to it on. Go listen to it and read the lyrics on Genius. Genius has it broken down and annotated for normies. Okay. Drake responds with "Family Matters," which kind of suggests he expected Kendrick to respond. And it kind of suggests he knew what Kendrick was going to respond with. Kind of a longer song. I mean, Euphoria was kind of long. Euphoria was like an easy six minutes. And I feel like Family Matters is a longer six minutes. I'm probably wrong about this, but I feel like Euphoria is like six minutes, 15 seconds. And then Family Matters is like six minutes, 45 seconds. You know what I mean? And in my humble opinion, okay, it's easier to listen to the entirety of Euphoria than it is to listen to the entirety of Family Matters. Euphoria kind of feels like a song, and to me those are the best disses. I really like Drake's Back to Back, because it's an awesome diss track, and it's really catchy. You can just listen to it, right? Family Matters good track I'll say it right now I think every one of these diss tracks is good I think there was one or two that I didn't listen to if it wasn't on if it was never on Spotify then I didn't listen to it so 616 in LA and that AI one that Drake did never even on my radar okay there was, those weren't even on my radar but now I know people are already gonna hate me for that but I have my reasons, okay? I scrabble my music on Last FM, and basically, I only comment on and review music that I can scrabble on Last FM. Now I know there's ways to scrabble music manually. I can listen to it on YouTube and then just go to a website and tell that website to tell Last FM that I scrabbled these songs. I'm aware of that. That's dumb and too much work, okay? I just wanna listen to my music and comment on it and then move on, okay? I'm always reviewing something. I'm always reviewing some hardcore album or some currently popular album, or maybe I'm going back in time reviewing some old music, but I'm always reviewing something. And I'm not gonna go out of my way and and like just do all this crazy stuff just to talk about something. You get what I mean? But thankfully, most of this has been put onto Spotify. So thank you, Kendrick. Thank you, Drake. You at least fed me something. I'm ha happy for that. I'm appreciative of that. Anyway, family matters. So at the end of push-ups, there's like a short little like 10 second beat change. Or Drake goes, I was really, really trying to kick a PG. And uh, then Kendrick Lamar releases Euphoria. Great track, in my opinion. And then Drake drops Family Matters pretty quickly. And Family Matters starts with the beat that push-ups ended with. Kind of, kind of, kind of an awesome chess move on Drake's part, um, where he was ready. He was ready for Kendrick's response. Came out with it. Family matters, right? Then Kendrick was ready for Drake. Kendrick was ready for Drake. Kendrick was ready for Drake to be ready. Kendrick releases 616 in LA, I believe, and Meet the Grams. I didn't listen to 616 in LA. Maybe I've like heard bits and pieces of it, maybe, but I couldn't say for sure. Because again, I really only just do it on Spotify. I may have given like one or two listens to, to like that on YouTube, but now that that's on, you know, that quickly went on Spotify and 
I, I demolished, demolished that on Spotify. I, that's my top rate song right now, okay? But anyway, back to the topic. 616 in LA and Meet the Grams. You do get Meet the Grams on Spotify. You do get that one. But not 616 in LA. Meet the Grams goes crazy. Meet the Grams goes crazy. The very first bar is Kendrick saying, Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. I wish your grandpa would have worn a condom, some shit like that. Like it just immediately going for the throat here and going personal. Meet the Grams is crazy because it's just, it's addressed to everyone in Drake's family. Dear Drake's son, I'm sorry you were born into this shitty family. Dear Drake's parents, you're raising a piece of shit, motherfucker. Dear Drake, you fucking suck, dog. You suck and you're fake and you're a liar. You're a piece of shit, dog. And you're gross. It just goes, it just goes in. It goes in. Sprinkling my opinion here. <clears throat> Family Matters is probably a better song than Meet the Grams, but not a better song than Euphoria. Just kind of going in the timeline here, right? So in my opinion, it's not better than the song it's responding to, but it is better than the song that it's better than Meet the Grams. It's better than the song that that comes after it, right? It's better than the song it produces, if you get what I'm saying. I don't know about 616 in LA, that one might be better than Family Matters, but I haven't listened to it. I probably will just go out of my way to listen to it once or twice one day, but again, it wasn't on Spotify, so didn't didn't make it to my listening. Um, but Meet the Grams, hard and vicious. It, it is a better diss. It is a better diss. I think I think what Kendrick Lamar talks about is deeper than what Drake talks about. Um, although they both get pretty deep and they both get very personal. But in terms of just the overall song, I definitely think, just personally, that Family Matters is better than Meet the Grams, but not better than Euphoria, okay? Then, Kendrick doesn't just do Meet the Grams in response to Family Matters. He also releases They Not Like Us. They Not Like Us. They Not Like Us. Probably the song of the year. They Not Like Us. They Not Like Us. They Not Like Us. It's just called Not Like Us. And this is absolutely the best song to come out of the beef, in my opinion. I kind of think a lot of people would agree, but maybe most people. Not Like Us is the catchiest song of the beef. Probably the best diss song I've ever heard in my life. And it just, it goes crazy. It goes crazy. It, it, is, it, it, I won't say that this is the song that buried Drake. I'll say that this song assumes Drake is buried and is dancing on his grave. You know what I mean? Um, I'll kind of back it up a little bit. In Meet the Grams, Kendrick Lamar alleges that Drake has a secret 11-year-old daughter. A lot of Drake fans, well, not a lot. I, But I've been seeing Drake fans defend this with like, Drake doesn't have an 11-year-old daughter, so that's just a lie. And Kendrick did a pretty long verse about it, right? Now, I don't know if it's true, but there's theory that Kendrick isn't talking about a real daughter. He made this imaginary daughter 11 years old to play on to play on the Millie Bobby Brown stuff. Millie Bobby Brown played 11 in Stranger Things. And speaking of the Millie Bobby Brown stuff, I know I haven't gotten into it. Let's get into it a little bit. This again, this is all big and messy. So there's a lot of details. Um, Drake gets accused of being like a groomer, of being predator and the other p word 
And an example that people use is his relationship with Millie Bobby Brown, who he has been friends with since she was like 13 or 14. And Millie Bobby Brown herself, in public, on interview, has stated, oh, I'm friends with Drake, I talk to Drake, I text him all the time about relationships and boys. Many people thinking this is very weird of Drake, okay? So, Kendrick Lamar, when he mentions the 11 year old daughter, some people theorize that Kendrick was just making a double entendre about Millie Bobby Brown, right? I think it's kind of a stretch. But I'm gonna present an argument, like I kinda of don't believe it, but I'm actually gonna present an argument in favor of that theory, if you'll bear with me, okay? Kendrick releases Not Like Us, really awesome like Bay Area Fizz music, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, uh. They not like us, they not like us, they not like us. It's just, it's so good. I love, I love Kendrick's two wrestling references in this talks about jabronis wanting to see compton says sweet chin music and i won't pass the ox hey it just goes crazy dancing on drake's grave by mentioning like just that people in ovo are creepy weirdos mentioning this guy's doing drugs this guy's got a weird sexual assault case this is who you keep around your son, Drake? This, you have a child. This is who you keep around your son? Certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. That's what that's what Kendrick said. He he went for it. He went for it. Okay? And now where I'm gonna sprinkle in my opinion here. Is Drake a predator? Is Drake the other P word? Probably not. I don't know. Probably so. I don't know, but there's enough, there's enough ammunition against him to make it possible to like levy the accusation. Does that make sense? To make the accusation like stick. It's like, well, you did do this, 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 and this, which, okay, but is any of that predatory? I mean, probably not, but it looks gross. It looks weird. You get what I'm saying? Drake fans don't want to hear that. But I think it's true. I think, I think, not that the accusation is true, but I think it's true that Drake put him, puts himself in the position to have that accusation be levied at him. I think, another opinion here, I think Drake needs to like humble himself, learn how to behave. I, I'm not really a big DJ Academics fan, but he did say something that I think is a bit accurate. He said that because of this accusation, because of this beef, Drake's gonna have to change the way he moves. And I agree. And for the best, it's for the best, right? Drake should behave in a way where this won't happen again, where someone can't accuse him of this again, right? <clears throat> um, it, it, I know Drake fans are not gonna wanna hear that. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. This could all be coming from like nowhere, right? From no logical place. But I think Not Like Us just seals the deal. Drake, or uh, Kendrick won. Drake lost. Drake died. Kendrick buried Drake and he's dancing on his, on his coffin. Uh, 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 they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. Like you can't, you can't hate this song. Drake did respond to Not Like Us. I forget what it's called. I forget what the song is called right now. But it was it was only released on YouTube and never released on Spotify. So I only listened to it like once or twice. So in a weird way, I've been more fair to Drake because I did go out of my way to listen to the Drake stuff that wasn't on Spotify than the Kendrick stuff that wasn't on Spotify. I guess I better go listen to 616 in LA. I doubt, I doubt, the, the only way, oh, we'll get into that. I'm, I'll just say it right now. I think that, I personally think that Kendrick won. 
and the only like I just don't think there's a chance I know I didn't listen to 616 in LA but as soon as I'm done recording this video I'll go check it out but it's not even the last song in the beef and so like I feel like the only way for that for for me to think that Drake won this beef is if 616 in LA is just so bad but even in that case I still don't think Drake wins I still don't I don't remember the name of the of the Drake song, but Drake releases a song on YouTube, and it becomes quite clear. It's 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 kind of cringe and embarrassing. If in fact, in fact, I don't know how Drake fans can listen to this song, whatever it's called. I'll I'll subtitle it. <clears throat> I'll subtitle it here on the screen when I edit the video. I don't understand how Drake fans can listen to that song and think that Drake won the beef. I don't even care if you remain a Drake fan. I still listen to Drake. Drake has way more scrabbles on Spotify for me than Kendrick Lamar does. But I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a bigger Drake fan than I am a Kendrick fan. Drake just has hits, right? But Kendrick's got masterpieces. To Pimp a Butterfly, masterpiece. Good Kid Man City, been a while since I listened to that one. I believe that's a masterpiece as well. Damn ha has some great songs on it. Mr. Morale has great songs on it. I don't know if I'd call those masterpieces. I think Mr. Morale is probably better than Damn, but still, like I think I think Hendrix got good stuff. I don't know how great fans listen to this to that last diss track and think he won. It, it's really on the defensive. Drake's like, Drake's like, I ain't never looked twice at no Millie Bobby Brown. I ain't never look at no teenagers. Like, it's very weird. It's very weird. It's especially weird because, like, I, I don't know. I, I, going back to the Meet the Grams thing, I'll have to listen to 616 in LA. So, like I said, missing some context here, okay? I don't know if Kendrick ever directly mentions Millie Bobby Brown. He just makes the accusation, he just makes very general accusations, says Drake's daughter is 11 years old, and then kind of the fans kind of started discussing stuff. And so that kind of made Drake respond to the Millie Bobby Brown stuff, right? Which I kind of think was a mistake. That was, that's that's kind of the genius chess move of what Kendrick did. Kendrick didn't, Kendrick just, when he said certified lover boy, certified pedophiles, he ends it with the letter S because he's calling OVO pedophiles. He's not necessarily calling Drake a pedophile. He's just saying, you guys are pedophiles, which is, you know, pretty crazy. You, false, false pedophile accusations could be crazy. But Kendrick has a leg to stand on with his arguments since Drake is surrounded by creepy peel. Like what, Baca Not Nice? Who, what, kidnapped someone, sexually assaulted someone? I don't know, he's like a weirdo. I think, I think Kendrick Lamar's points about like, bro, you're a dad, act like a dad. You're, you don't, you're, you're 37. Why are you like acting like a teenager, hanging around young people, being weird? Stop it, bro, you're weird. I think, I think that diss lands, if you ask me. And Drake's last song being very like defensive makes it clear that he lost. Drake's basically just denying the allegations which makes it look weird because especially bringing teenagers into it because again I'm gonna have to listen to 616 in LA and I might be wrong I don't think Kendrick Lamar accused Drake of liking teenagers he said I hear you like them young you bet not I'm gonna go to cell block one like it's just like, he's just saying, again, I could be wrong. I know I know people are gonna come at me with different interpretations in the comments. 
I just, I don't think Kendrick Lamar directly accused Drake of, like, direct stuff. There were very general accusations. But Dr- Drake responding to specific stuff is what, it, what is, a, is a bad chess move on Drake's part. Because now his fans, who might not have known about the Millie Bobby Brown stuff, now they do. You get what I mean? I feel I feel a little silly recording this. I'll probably record a second like part to this, like a hey I just watched six sixteen in L A. Here's my thoughts. I'll probably record that um, and attach it to the end of this video. But for now, I think Drake won. I mean, do I edit that out or do I leave that in there? I think Kendrick won. I think very clearly. Kendrick Lamar won, okay? Very, like, obviously. They Not Like Us is Kendrick dancing on Drake's coffin, and then Drake's response, which I forget the title of, is just a defensive denial of accusations, and also, I'm backing out of this. You go ahead and keep making songs if you want to. I'm backing out of this. It's, it's, you're giving up. You're giving up. You get what I mean? If you really, like, could have it, it it this is probably a naive way of looking at it but i think if drake's truth was stronger than kendrick's truth drake would not have backed out and gave up with that weakness track he would have maybe waited his 17 days to maybe dig a little more dirt or and then make a way better song right but Drake quit. He backed out. Even if he didn't do that, I think Kendrick won. But Drake tapped out. He said, you beat me, dog. You beat me. I am, I'm done. I am done. And we got some really good music from both artists out of it, okay? Maybe not that last Drake song, but I like push-ups. I like Family Matters. I like all the Kendrick songs. Euphoria? Yes. Meet the Grams? Eh. Like, like, it sounds good, it feels good. The weirdness about the the daughter verse, like I'm actually giving um I'm I'm how do I explain it? Being devil's advocate for Drake here. The possibility that this whole verse is only about because again like they're everything i mentioned was just theories the whole like 11 years old being a reference to millie bobby brown that's just a theory okay the theory kind of sticks when drake responds to millie bobby brown stuff right so drake doesn't help his own case by responding to that stuff but on the off chance that this long big verse about a daughter that might not exist if it comes out that she doesn't exist that song is now cringe and lame right in my opinion so that's kind of the weird the weird nature about specifically meet the grounds is like i can't tell if i'm allowed to enjoy it yet because i don't know if it's just pure lies yet just in general i it's hard for me to think that Drake won. I think Kendrick won. That's my opinion. I'd like to hear your guys' opinion in the comments down below. Who won and why? Who delivered the best bar or bars and why? And what's gonna come from this? Will either of these artists talk about it again? Did Kendrick successfully snatch the throne from Drake? Drake might have the numbers, Drake might have the industry, but Kendrick might just be the better rapper. I think he I think he is. I think Kendrick's the better rapper. Like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, follow me in my social medias that you'll find in the description or in my YouTube page. Thank you for tuning in. See you later.